I'm hoping that this represents an ending to the whole saga of this poor BB droid of mine. Originally, I bought it off of eBay. I was looking for a BB droid to, to screw around with, um, to hack. Uh, but I didn't want to, I wanted something on the cheap. I didn't want to pay what it would cost for a brand new one. And I found this one that, including shipping, cost less than what it would cost to make a new one in the park. So it arrived, and uh, it worked fine, and... You know, started screwing around with it, mostly around the personality chip area of things. So while I was screwing around with this, uh, I started poking at the main board here. And uh, I wound up breaking um, one of these, uh, there are these two chips here. Let me zoom in so you can sort of see here. You can see there's a, a chip here and a spot where a second chip should go. Those two chips each drive one of the two motors in the base of the uh, the BB unit. And I broke one while trying to figure out what was up with this chip. This is the Bluetooth uh, system on a chip here. Uh, and the chip that was originally here had a problem. There was an internal short. It was burning out. It wasn't driving one of these chips over here correctly, which is why I was poking around over here in the first place and broke that chip. Wound up taking... a. Uh, a little one dollar USB beacon that just happened to have the same chip on it took this the old chip off put the new chip on and was able to program the new chip with the same program that was on the old chip because I was able to get the old program off before the old chip completely uh, fried itself all that's left is this chip that I, I broke the original one that was there and I went online looking for it and I couldn't find it anywhere I finally came across one very random Chinese website and they had pictures of the chip they said you could order them I ordered one they got in touch with me and said nope you can only order minimum of 20 so I did just that and after about I don't know three weeks or so this box this slightly crunched box arrived today and this is one I find out while you watch with me whether or not I have paid, I think I wound up paying about 15 bucks to get these chips. Whether or not I have just thrown $15 down the drain. That's, that's all that's in there. At least the right shape. Amtech AM1037s. There are 1037s, not 1037As, and I think this is a 1037A, is it? Nope, that's just a straight 1037. I mean, it looks, if this thing wants to focus, there we go, that might be the best angle. Amtech AM1037. Amtech AM1037. So, let's find out. First thing I want to do is I want to detach all of these wires. I have, I think, concluded all my research with the communications between the two chips. I am content that I understand what the heck is going on there. Very sloppily, just reheating the joint and pulling the wire away. The wires are disconnected okay time for the main event orientation is important here there's a little circle you can see on the chip that orients the chip where it should go that's pin one same orientation here you can see there's a little dot on the silk screen that tells you that this little pad here is pin one i want to come in here and add a little flux to the surface and I am going to add 
A little dab of solder on one of the pads here. I'll choose one on the outside just because this is easy. It, it, uh. Oh, now I've done it. I put... I have put flux on too. Let me clean that up. How do you clean that up? Now, I, I could probably get away with that. I don't want to, though. I want to get this right. So I'm going to clean that up with a... Taking a piece of solder wick here and figure out what the right or right, right, right way to get in here. Solder wick is just copper braid with a little flux in it. Apply heat to the braid and it will suck up the solder into the copper like so. So, oops, take two flux back there. You don't have to worry about cleaning up the pads before you go in again. The flux will get out of the way. Okay, so only one pad. There we go. Now, need to put the chip in here, like so. And I just need to get a good grip on it. I should remove that uh, potentiometer, that would certainly make my life a little easier. Alright, so... Oh. Part of the problem is I'm doing this with my, my left hand here. And I'm working around the camera. That's about fine. Reflow that joint there. And you can see it maybe is a little bit off. I could leave it. I probably should leave it. Okay, we'll leave it as that. It's a little, oh, it's a little crooked. I really should be leaving it. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to leave it alone. It's going to be a little crooked. It doesn't matter. It will work fine. Um, just come in here. Oops. Hit the camera. Let me move the camera. Alright, that might be a little bit better. Now to try this. That's good, I think. We'll try. I'll look. I'll double check in a minute. Basically, I'm putting a bunch of solder on the first pad, and then I'm just dragging it across, and service tension will sort of do the rest of the job for me. Take this out of the vise. Yeah, let's take a look. Maybe a little too much solder there on that last pin, but you know what, that is okay. All the pins have solder. Everything looks good. Cool. All right. I will uh, clean that up with the uh, alcohol and then uh, hook everything up. Droid reassembly time. Uh, that was the card reader. That is the uh, pairing button for the Bluetooth. This is your speaker. This is your inductor used to power the LEDs in the head. Make sure that that looks fine. Good. Uh, the power switch. And the base here, which is, I want to make sure that's off. Yeah, that's off. Good. And we have... Uh, 
motor one, motor two, and last but not least, the batteries. All right, so before I close it all up, we're gonna make sure that both motors turn. All right, cross your fingers. Here we go. Uh, we'll turn this on first. Yep, with my LED mod so I know it's powered. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Both motors are definitely turning. It lives! Oh, all right. Let's package this all up. Um, it should slide into... You're not going to get a good shot, but it should slide into a couple of slots here. It's just press fit to hold it in place. The bottom wires are fine. They should have enough length to them. I should probably blow this out with there. Eh, who cares? And for the top, I need to get this lined up. So like that. Oh, that's about it, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, somebody's texting me to let me know that this thing is alive and well and how awesome it is. No, not really. That's a pro tip for everybody. When you are recording something with your phone, as I am doing now, uh, turn off vibrate and notifications and all that stuff. So when somebody texts you a link to a YouTube video, you're not sitting there going, ah, oh, shoot, do I want to retake this? No, I do not. I want to be done with this. This is a couple of months. And I just want this thing to be up and running again. So, somebody asked me, do I have a name for my droid? And I decided I would name it if I got it back working together. Between replacing the Bluetooth uh, chip, which is essentially the brains of the chip, and that uh, H-Bridge uh, chip from very, very... From parts unknown where that chip came from. I mean, if, if this ridiculous uh, series of events actually works out and, and the thing works again, then yeah, I'll name it. So what would I name it? I think it'd be something related to bringing, bringing it back from the dead. So I was thinking either maybe Lazarus or you can't really call it Frankenstein. It's Frankenstein's monster. But I do kind of like simplistic names. I like the idea of just calling it Frank or BB Frank. I think it's just Frank. I think it's just Frank. All right, so let's put that in like so. Make sure it is on. Find up. All right, there you are. Good. Line up. There we go. And. Uh, see. Good. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Oh. 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 Hey. And how about this? There we go. Oh. Don't fall over. Okay. Oh. 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 Uh, you know what? I think I need to take Frank into an open space to play with. It's a couple days later since uh, I filmed that initial which you just saw, there was an issue. As soon as I put Frank down to go, I'd run it around for a little bit and it would go into shutdown. Similar behavior to what first alerted me that there was something wrong. It was going into shutdown because the voltage would drop when the motors were being driven. It just turned out to be the batteries were old at this point. So, uh, And when it was first broken, it was not the batteries, it was something else. But this time around... Uh, it was just batteries. So if your BB droid ever starts to go into shutdown mode whenever you make it move around, change the batteries. Anyway, so I'll do another demo with it rolling around on the ground real quick. I'm going to throw in my newly put together personality chip, custom personality chip. 
Uh, this one was made or manufactured by uh, Osh Park, and then I put all the components on and programmed it. And we'll get a, a double demo here of Frank rolling around somehow still working. Where do they? There we go. And we get to see what the heck my first attempt at a personality chip really looks like or sounds like. So I'll go put it on the uh, carpet over there and we'll see how it goes. All right, we are on the carpet. Remote in one hand, camera in the other. How is this going to work? We'll find out. So first, All right, take it away. How am I going to do curves here? There you go. Whoa. Yes, yes. Okay. I should practice this a little bit. I feel like I would be way more comfortable <laughs> with both hands. Very good. Yeah, so that's Frank. He works good as new, maybe even better. But uh, don't try and drive your droid with one hand. Accidents will happen. Oh, sorry.